Hey guys, it's Diabetic Girl, and welcome to another diabetic rant. This week it is insulin pumps, continue and continuous glucose monitors. So you guys all know, hold on, that I wear a Medtronic Rebel. Well, it's, it's the Revel, but I've never pronounced it as the Revel. I've always called it the Revel. You know, um, it holds 300 units of insulin right here. I actually need to change that and um, got a battery. And I love my insulin pump. I've worn an insulin pump for years. And for a while I wore an Animus Ping. And I hated that pump. Like a lot. Like I just hated it. It broke all the time. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't wear an Animus Ping. If you, it's a like one touch and Animus like together. If you want to wear it, go ahead. It just wasn't my pump. So I switched back to my Rebel. Rebel. Um. Originally, I wore a 715 for like six years, which was pretty amazing, you know, because I break things really easily. Um, and then for continuous glucose monitoring, oh my god, I hate it so much because the needle is like really long and it just like goes in and it hurts like a little, I don't know what to say, but it really hurts. Like my mom puts it in and she like, I pa there was the first time she ever put it in, I like passed out passed out because what happens is it like goes into this like 90 degree angle and it's like <laughs> and um it's it basically you start bleeding the minute that thing hits your skin it's disgusting and then you have to put like 12 layers of like pump tape over it so that at the end of the next week you can't get it off do you know how I get so nervous to take that thing off? I literally am the child who like stands like backwards like so I'm looking at my bed just like scratching it off. It's the worst. Or like I'll call someone and they'll be like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm taking my continuous glucose monitor out. And they're like, yeah, no. Cause, and then there was a time that I was up in Maine with Luther and I was trying to take it out like without anybody noticing, but it hurt. Like I was just like, ah, ah, ah. And it was not a fun time. And generally after I take these things out, I like feel wicked dizzy and there's like a band-aid over where it used to be because like blood just flowing. It's disgusting. But now, if you ask me the question, well, then if this hurts so much, why do you use it? Because I really don't like to check my blood sugar. Like, let's be legitimate. I really don't. I hate it so much. <laughs> because there's just like one more step. Like, it's almost, I'm going to make this real, I don't know if this comparison is going to work, but if it does, I'm really happy. It's almost like when someone texts me in class, and I really don't want to get caught by the teacher, so I, like, try to, like, hide it in my computer. Um, I, I absolutely, and then it's like, when I check my blood sugar in class, like, people are sometimes staring, and it's really, really random, like, Hey guys, it's Diabetic Girl, whatever. <laughs> like, trying to play it off all cool and shit, and it doesn't, it, it never has worked. It's awful. And, I don't know, like, I, I love the CGM because it does a lot for me, but the thing goes off every, like, 20 minutes. And when you are trying to get a full night's sleep before a test, forget it! Because it's just gonna be like, wee 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 like, an hour because guess what I'm a heavy sleeper I don't feel a vibration so if you're telling me that my blood sugar is going low well pff, I ain't gonna hear ya sorry and then it's sirens for like an hour and then my parents come in and they're like dad wake up and I'm like what and then I hear my pump and I'm like oh what's up and it's like it's awful cuz like my my like high blood sugar is considered like 120 and over and so <laughs> When I'm like 122 and it starts going off, I'm like, shut up. I get so mad at it. But like, I guess it's, it's like, it's only one component of pump therapy and I do love my pump so much. So honestly, I don't really mind, but it's just really annoying. Sorry, I'm taking care of my pump. But, I don't know. The fact that I like don't have to, like, I don't have to... How do I explain this? I don't have to stop myself from doing stuff. I can always just, like, when I felt like I was, was on shots, I'd have to be like, oh, hold on, let me go give a shot. Which just was pathetic, if you think about it. 
And so, I don't know. I like the pump. I can do more things. I can be on the go more. And I'm an on-the-go girl. So, yeah, that was insulin pump therapy. And continuous glucose monitoring or CGMing. I will see you guys later. And this is my first video as a 17-year-old. I have more gifts. So I'll do another birthday haul later. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!